Hi, and welcome to a presentation of Semite, Supporting, caring and managing individuals and families to provide the best possible outcomes is evolving. No longer reactive and isolated, it's proactive and integrated, designed to ensure that the pathways of support a person is taking along are always optimal and that the outcomes maximise quickest. By using intelligent technology, the Semite solution complements these strategies as well as those of doing more for less and digital by default. We're going to show how our application provides you the ability to do an online referral and assessment as well as being able to see how a case can be created, a plan can be created, needs can be identified and outcomes managed by multiple agencies. As you can see the referral form has lots of different tiles which identify which are the main areas of support that the citizen needs to be helped with initially. As you can see that there is help text and the user can be taken through the form. Normally this would be completed by a support worker, however the form is designed to be user friendly enough that a citizen or a family could complete the form themselves. As always, our online forms have got content management built into them. They've got validation to prevent user error. They also have the ability to support multiple languages. As you can see here, if we try to enter any fields without you know, providing appropriate information, the, the online form validates and provides an error. We're completing the form as if we're a social worker, so we've also provided details of Jenny Smith, who's identified that she works for the council. We've also added a partner and a child, because this, in this instance we're going to take you through a troubled family referral. They happen to be homeless, and we're going to illustrate how a citizen can be managed in this situation by either a local authority or an agency or a provider. So we're going to say that the family is currently sleeping rough. So, what the online form does is it asks a series of questions and through this and through logic built into it, it wants to identify if there are any other areas. So even though we're only asking about housing currently, we're going to say that the citizen has previously had a criminal offence. By doing this, the system's going to then start intelligently ascertaining whether other help may be provided. On this form, the social worker is afforded the opportunity to provide details about any other areas that the person may need help with. At the end of the um, referral and assessment process, the person needs to establish where they are on a scorecard mechanism in the current state of play. So when a case is completed, it instantly comes into our case management system. If I open up that case, that opens up their details. You can see it's identified homeless and housing, which is what the social worker originally did. However, you can see that the system has intelligently ascertained that offending is possibly needed to be assessed as well. And this is entirely as a consequence of the fact that they answered one question to say that they'd previously you know, taken part in a crime. The form establishes when a contact is made, who was present, how it was made, always trying to make sure there's visibility about you know, every contact for future reference. So now we're going to go through the, effect, the um, offending assessment and as you can see we're not having to go back to the online form. The application intelligently takes a view of that form and puts it in the same place which means training of staff is quicker and simpler. So based upon those questions we provide that information, we say that citizens happy to declare that all that information is accurate. When they've done that the system again is using intelligence to establish if there's anything else we need. And you can see that as a consequence of one of the answers that we provided there, the systems established that another assessment was required, which is ending harm to others. Now the reason we're doing these assessments is to work out which support needs the person may have, which outcomes may need to be on the plan. Here you can see a general note is being added. Now if you remember, the person never actually provided details on where they felt they were in terms of aggress aggressive behaviour. So here we're going to provide some details on where the citizen feels on a scale of 0 to 10 in terms of you know being able to like deal with how much violent behaviour they currently do. Now in this instance what we're going to do is add a support need manually. So the support worker has identified an extra support need. So not only does the citizen system enable you to be able to establish areas of um, care that a person may, may need help with, it also intelligently does it. So at this point what we're going to do is create a plan. So there are three outcomes, housing, violence or aggressive behaviour and basically getting the person into a job. What you can see is that we're actually assigning each of the outcomes for the plan to an agency, three different agencies we assign them to, all with 
you know, different activities that need to be carried out. So you can see here that the housing task is assigned to a housing agency. The, cr the cr uh, abstinence from crime achievement is assigned to the crime prevention unit. And the third one to do with getting a job is assigned to the employment agency. Now this shows you a different login. So if I'm a manager of the agency and I want to allocate work, I can log in with a different view of the data and assign it to one of my staff. Then, as the agency worker managing the outcome, they can log in and they can find that case that was just assigned to them by the council or a public sector body or health department. So I'm logging in as the employment agency. Now you can see that I can still see the other outcomes that are managed by other agencies, but I can see my own one and I can actually start this outcome and I can manage it. So if I start a contact, in this case I'm going to say that it was a face-to-face -face contact and the only person that came from the family was the homeless, was the main applicant. I'm going to add some notes in here as a part of doing the contact. So we're going to say that we're going to create a CV and a cover letter as a part of him helping get an, a job. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that he's improved his current position. So he's taken some steps to help him, you know, get further in terms of getting up the job. So we've created a CV and a cover letter. So this is as the agency logged in. Now once we've added some notes, we can then browse for and attach evidence. And this could be anything. So if a person was going through a course of drug rehabilitation, they could attach like a doctor's letter or you know some progress guide from um, a charity perhaps providing the drug rehabilitation services. So once we've updated their current position, we've updated um, some documents to illustrate that they've managed to complete the first step, we're now going to identify that they've completed the first step. We're going to show the current step that they're on and we're going to add some notes to say that they've now successfully completed it. So the point of this is that if you're operating on a payment by results um, mechanism, the application enables you to ensure that you are you have got a full record of exactly what that agency has done. But crucially, nobody slips through the net because each agency can see everything that all agencies are doing, but crucially they can only manage their own, aid, their own outcomes. On here you can see a history of where the person started off and how they progressed. We've even got a visual timeline, so the timeline shows you everything that's happened on the case. And it also provides visual information, so if I click on an entity in there, I can see exactly how they responded to the original assessments. I can see exactly you know, when a context, contents, contact started, what the details of that contact were. So it's a lot clearer and it's a lot easier to get to the data that you need. With monitoring, what we allow you to do as well is, like, particularly with a payment by results circumstance, you can send an email or a text to somebody when something does or does not happen. But what we really felt was key to this solution was the ability for social workers or support workers out in the field to be able to access it. So this is a Windows 8 offline device working on a Surface RT device and they have actually got access to all of the different assessments, the support needs, the plan directly on you know, a Windows 8 device. By having it in the field and being able to synchronize the data down and send it back, then it obviously means that everything's in one place and everything is automated. Plus, some staff might have problems with typing and, you know, they may not feel it's as effective as being able to write. With built-in handwrite rec handwriting recognition on most tablets these days, particularly those with Windows 8, they just need to write the words that as they would if they were writing onto a pad and it's instantly put into the system. When they finish and save the case, all details uploaded and synchronized directly back into the processing system, the case management semity system. So the system truly does ensure that if the citizen or anything is done through the online form, then the data comes into the back office. If people are out and reviewing progress out in the field, then that data comes straight back into the case management system. With all of the system's information coming to the same place, and with everything always in the context of, this, of multiple agencies and multiple users being able to see exactly where a person is, then nothing, is slipped, nothing slips through the net. Semity is the start of a high level change in way, the way that people manage and support citizens. And we believe that it's the perfect technology solution to complement those ideals.